So now it's time to drill these holes into the legs for the stretchers. Now I know that that can uh, be a little intimidating because chair making has angles in it and I know that, that that tends to put people on edge, but this is actually really simple and I'm really excited to show you this technique that I use for this piece because it doesn't require us to, to measure or know any angles. Uh, really, if you think about it, when you're trying to do what we're doing here, it's not about going from a plan that has set numbers on it, it's about connecting one point to the other. So if I can get my drill to line up with the axis of that stretcher, well, I win. That's all that we have to be able to do. So what I'm going to show you is a real simple technique that I like to use to do that. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the axis of where my stretcher is actually going to be is parallel to my bench top. Sometimes I'll just take some coins. I like to use just quarters and I'll put one under and then I'll measure it until I get them exactly correct. Once I've done that, when I put this angle block up against these legs like this, well, now parallel to that edge of that angle block is the correct angle for my, for my drilling. It's perfect every time. So what I want to do is come up with a way to take this setup away over to my vise here so I can do the drilling. Well, that starts with me having a way to realign this block in position with these legs again. So I do that pretty simply. I've got this angle over here. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to be a rough average of all the legs. And I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to run it right down the edge of this block. Now, later on, when I realign this edge with that line over here at the vise, this will represent the correct angle, and I drill it. I've got my little V blocks here and a couple of spring clamps to hold it in place. And what I've done is I put it in and rotated it so that the place where I'm going to be drilling is at the very top of the round. Now, on this side here, I can see my uh, alignment line. This is the line that you just watched me make. So what I need to do is I need to realign my block with that line. So basically, if I can put this edge, which is the one that I used to make that line, up against it, like at the correct angle matching it, then parallel to this edge is going to be the correct angle because that was exactly the setup you saw just a minute ago. But that would be pretty awkward. Uh, I don't really want to have to balance this in midair while keeping it aligned with that line. So to, to uh, make this easier, what I'm going to do is a lot like what you saw me do over there. I'm going to parallel that line to my bench top. That way, when I set this edge on my bench top, I know that the edge here is parallel to that line, and therefore this angle is going to be correct. So that's what I'm going to do first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, bevel square here, and I'm going to line it up with one side of this line, and I'm going to go to the other and see how it looks, and it's a little bit off, so this is where being able to tilt this in the vise really comes in handy, so I'll just tilt it just a little bit, and I'll keep doing this until I get it so that it's right in line both sides. Okay, so it looks like it needs to come up over here a little bit. I'm going to take a mallet and just tap it up just a hair. We're almost there, okay, until I like what I've got. Now, when I set this on my bench, that is the correct angle. It's really that simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my mirrors and I'm going to set the mirror up right here. And by having that right here, I can see in the mirror as I'm drilling when it is that I'm actually parallel to that edge and that's my correct angle. And that, they're the same. It's just different sides of the board. So that's a little less precarious. So I like to do it this way. What's going on? So now that I've drilled one of those holes, I thought it'd be worthwhile just to show you the results. You can see when I put a dummy 5 8 dowel in here, it points exactly where it's supposed to. But I just want to run you through real quickly again what it is we just did so you can see it really is quite simple. Is like Step one is to parallel the axis of the stretcher to the bench top. Then we set our block down here and we mark a line. Then our next job is to actually do the same sort of behavior again, which is to parallel something to our bench top. But this time, it's the line that we're going to parallel. So then we take the leg out, bring it over here, parallel the line to the workbench. We just set this block down next to it, and that's our angle.